it's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today, maybe no contest. Maybe no contest between the two beers that I've chosen to pit against one another. But I've done Warsteiner versus Kronbacher. I could have done Paulina versus Kronbacher or Paulina versus Warsteiner, but it would just be, it just felt like a kind of like a rehash of of beers that I've already kind of battled against one another. So I thought to myself, without kind of sounding like an old repeat on a Sunday afternoon, we'll just pit two different German beers together and see what happens. The reason why I say there may be no contest, there probably will be no contest, is because Paul and are here, Paul and are uh, Munich Hells Lager has been produced and brewed in Germany, 4.9% ABV, and Paul and are, are one of the standout breweries in the world for me. They produce some terrific beer. They put their beer in brown glass, there's going to be no light strike. They just know what they're doing. And then, well, I've got a tin plaque on the wall there. We have Bex. Now, Bex has seen a little bit of a fall from grace over the last few years. Um, Bex used to be a 5% ABV premium lager, and a lot of people like Bex. They really did. But unfortunately now, it's succumbed to the UK brewed beer, and it's been produced at 4% ABV. So they've not knocked the whole percent off this beer. Um... I've not tried the 4% ABV Bex. I know I probably, it's probably probably my biggest requested video. Will you review Bex at 4%? Because the people in the comments box are saying it's a completely different beer to what it was just a few years ago. So, shame, absolute shame. They're both on this kind of three for five pound deal in Tesco. Picked up the both beers in Tesco, Bex and Paulina. And yeah, okay, it may, it may not be the biggest kind of beer battle we've done, but it's interesting nonetheless to drink a really good German lager compared to maybe something from the UK, which might not be as good. But I've not reviewed it yet, so it's about time that I kind of get into this. It's a 660 milliliter bottle, green glass bottle. There's the bottle cap. <clears throat> nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening, uh, beer in the glass. This glass does have a widget. <sighs> the, glass, the glass was clean, it was just something on the bottom there that picked up on the bar. Maybe I should clean my bar, shouldn't I? So, there we are. There's a look at Bex. Light straw coloured lager with a three finger white head. Let's get the Paul and it out. I'm a big fan of Paul and a Vice beer. Huge fan of Paul and a Vice beer, actually. The Hell, I drink a lot less of the Hell than I do the Vice beer. This is going to be a bit of a rigorous pour, actually. Uh, I was about to mention as well, I forgot to show you, there's no widget. There's literally no uh, etching on the bottom of this glass, so it's going to be less in the way of carbonation. But here's the two beers then. Here's a look at them. They look very similar, actually, don't they? Apart from the, the larger head on the backs. Nice small bubbles on each beer. Nice light straw-coloured beer on each beer. Very clear to look at in each beer as well. So, let's get the aroma on the backs. Whoa. It's that, 
feel like a scratch record, but I'm going to say it again. I can pick it up in the aroma. It's like that British water fartiness, that kind of sulfur, sulfury hard water. Little bit hoppy, a little bit spiky and hoppy, I would kind of describe it as. It's not the worst aroma that I, you know, it's not, it's not like absolutely dreadful kind of aromas, but it's got the aroma of a generic lager these days, maybe something like Carling or Foster's. It's going along those lines, which for a German company, well, it's quite shocking actually, isn't it? This company has been going since 1873. And they are, I'm pretty sure I read on the back, um, AB InBev. AB InBev. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. It's like having sex in a canoe. Being close to water. Hissy, fizzy, carbonated. Uh, not a, not a absolute scratch on his former self. I used to drink 5% Bex years ago and it had that lovely malty biscuity flavour. It had that fantastic bitter finish to it. This is a very kind of pulled back version of this beer. Now I know Bex brought out a beer called Via, V-I-E-R, a few years ago that really didn't work. It was a 4% version of the original Bex. So, because it didn't work, what they decided to do, in any case, was reduce the original Bex from 5% to 4% and kind of make it... This, this is effectively... Effectively... Probably not exactly the same, but something very similar to Beck's Via. So they thought, I know what we'll do. The great marketing team at AB InBev, I know what we'll do. Beck's Via was a complete failure. Nobody wanted it. So we'll make Beck's into Beck's Via anyway. And we'll see what the British public think of that. Well done, AB InBev. Who's ever, who's ever in charge should never get a medal. <clears throat> Paulina, Munich Lager. Good levels of carbonation. One finger whitehead. Aroma. Ah, oh, this is more like it. Lovely, sweet, malty, wafer-like aromas coming through. Nice hoppy kind of bitter finish. Paul and is owned by a great big brewery too. They are owned by a great big brewery. They're just left alone. I uh, can't see who they're owned by actually. It doesn't say on the back of the bottle. But they're owned by a massive company, Paul and her. They're just left alone to their own devices, I suppose. Paul and a Munich Lager, completely different. Peppery, spicy, 
wafer, multi-like flavors coming through, a little bit of a bitterness on the back end. This is much better beer, a little bit more of a body. It's only 0.9 of a percent ABV higher. It's 0.9%, it's 4.9% ABV. But it's a completely different lager. Oh, I could drink pint after pint of that, bottle after bottle of that. That is fantastic. Much better water quality. Brewed in Germany, not the UK. That's the way to go, isn't it? So two effectively kind of German beers, but one brewed in the UK and one that used to be I mean, years ago, you were probably proud to have your Bex beer plaque on the wall, weren't you? Not anymore. Especially if you're living in the UK. If I have anybody from Germany watching. And they have the opportunity to tell me what their Bex is like in Germany. I'd love to know. I'd love to know if Bex in Germany is still much, much better. But this, now. As I said earlier, it's like having a bit of fun in a canoe, getting close to water. Um, Bex beer, brewed in the UK, 4% ABV. Very, very poor, very, very poor, poor. Four, four out of 10, four out of 10 for the Bex. Poor one, much, much better beer. Nice crisp malt, spicy pepperiness, lovely bitterness, so much more body, so much more flavor, better carbonated beer, not overly hissy and fizzy. Lovely. I can only imagine being in Munich, having a pint of this in a lovely bar on a summer's day, but it's fantastic. That is a great, great beer. It's an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10 for the Paul and a Munich Lager. I hope you liked the video. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.